Inside the Lakeshore Athletic Club, these fans are anxiously awaiting the start of the rematch between Willie Moscone and Jimmy Karras. Last fall at ABC's Wide World of Sports, you saw Jimmy Karras defeat Willie Moscone, and this is the rematch today. Our expert on the program is Roy Kimman, a former three-time intercollegiate champion. And Roy, let's talk about 14-1 continuous pocket billiards, how it's played. Thank you, Bill. It is indeed 14-1 continuous play, and the main object of this game is to pocket 14 balls, leave, leaving the 15th ball in such a position that you can make it on a subsequent shot, carry them into the rack, break up the rack, and continue your run from there. Okay, now the game is 125, and it's conceivable that one man might start out and run 125 and win, right? It is indeed. We have two outstanding players today, and uh, to borrow a phrase, this is going to be a horse race. Okay, fine, Roy. We'll be waiting your comments. And now let's meet our contestants. First of all, the retired world champion 15 times. He won the world championship, the one and only Willie Moscone. Talk for a moment with you, Willie. I know you're kind of anxious for a little revenge. Well, not actually. We we in competition always look forward to trying to get even with the fellow the next time. You know, I said retired. Now you are not really retired, are you? Well, I am retired from competition, but not from exhibition work. I still travel around the country and do quite a bit of it. Okay, well, there's a lot at stake here today. A purse of five thousand dollars, thirty-five hundred dollars to the winner, fifteen hundred to the loser, and I know you want the big one. Okay. Fine. Okay. Good luck to you, Willie Moscone. And now a man who won the world championship four times, a man who held both the national and world title in the same year, the only man ever to do that, and he is Jimmy Karras. Jimmy, who won this match a year ago in New York. Jimmy, good to see you again. I know you'd like to repeat what you did uh, at the New York Athletic Club last fall. I sure would, Bill. What was the score of that game, you remember? 125 to 82. Okay, you feel pretty good? You, I know you've been doing a lot of traveling. Uh, oh, yeah. Feel pretty good. Okay. Get warmed up because we're just about ready to get underway with the start of the National Invitational Pocket Billiards Championship from Chicago on ABC's Wide World of Sports. We'll be back with more from the National Invitational Pocket Billiards Championship in just a moment. The Gillette Safety Razor Company is bringing you this segment of ABC's Wide World of Sports. All set to get underway now, and both players will lag to see who starts this game off. They will shoot the cue ball down to this end, and the one that comes closest to the head rail will be the winner, and he will have the option of deciding who will break. Moscone wins the lag. And Moscone wins the lag, and he designates Karras to make the break. All right, uh, let's have our expert here, Roy Kimman, uh, make an explanation of that. Uh, this means that Karras will break the ball safe, and actually Willie will have the first shot at attempting to run the balls. Uh, okay, now those uh, two balls you saw hitting the rail made it a legal break, and so Karras has left Moscone at the head end of the table, and not too much to shoot at, really. No, uh, uh, a fairly Mark difficult pocket. shot there. I think he'll pocket that okay, but well, he missed. He did indeed, and that is quite an unusual thing for Moscone. And that is an inning for Willie Moscone without scoring anything. So uh, Jimmy Karras, making a beautiful break, left, leaving Moscone with not too much to shoot at, now has an opportunity himself, and he gets one. Now remember, the game is 125. Also, he will try to get 14 in the pockets, leaving himself one for the break shot. And this enables him to keep on going. That's right, and he made a good break shot on the three ball and appears now to be on the way to running this rack. It's a little early to uh, determine the break, the break ball for the next rack. However, it won't be long until I'll be pointing that out. Right now, I would say the 12 ball. However, he disturbed the 12 at that time. Now, the voice you hear in the background is the referee, Dick Youngen of Rockford, Illinois. Uh, he is also counting and designating where balls will fall. This game, uh, the player must designate to the referee which shot he is going to make. Five ball, corner pocket. Six. Seven ball, the corner pocket. Seven. Now he's made seven. He has 
Eight balls on the table, and we'll try to get seven more down and leaving one for the break shot. And uh, Roy, right here, we should probably say this is a great deal like a chess game where these great players are thinking five, six, seven, maybe even a dozen shots ahead. They are indeed, Bill, and right now it looks as if the 10 ball is the break shot. Uh, if he does everything as planned, I can say without a doubt that the 10 will be the break shot for him to enter the next rack on. All right, he's got four on the table. He's got 11, and he's leading Willie Moscone 11 to nothing, as Willie Moscone did not get anything in his first inning. Jimmy Karras began playing pocket billiards at the age of 17. He is now 54 years old, so he's had a long and great career. Ball ball with corner pocket. Right you are, and he left the 10 for the break shot. And he leads 14 nothing over Willie Moscone. And now the balls will be wrecked. And at this point, he has left himself, I would say, Roy, in excellent uh, shape. He's in real good condition, Bill. He should pocket this with no trouble and get a good action on the cue ball into the right. Fifteen. Fifteen now. And he's going to study this situation a little bit. He doesn't have a great deal. As a matter of fact, the 13 ball on the left side, as you see, the only ball on the left side is frozen. He's going for the two ball and makes it. 16. Now this is a situation, Roy, where uh, great players really shine. This is true. Five ball. And Moscone, uh, you see him just sort of knowingly nod here as to what uh, Karras is going to do. Five ball, corner five. 17. Nine ball, side pocket. Round of 18 for Jimmy Karras. He's studying this situation here, Roy, because he's got a, a group of balls in a cluster and uh, not too many outside to uh, make it a target. Right, he'll go for the 11 in the side, a not too difficult shot. However, in some cases, that stick gets mighty heavy in a match of this importance. Very significant shot that carries him to 19. Jimmy Karras, incidentally, is the coal holder of the world's record. And the man he's meeting in this match is also the coal holder, 127. Set in 1949 in Kansas City. Corner pocket. 20. 20 for Jimmy Karras. And now, Roy, he seems to have things very well in hand. Yes, he does. Uh, this is a slightly difficult shot. However, the balls are broken nicely now. And uh, probably he will uh, have the eight ball for a break shot into the next rank. Six ball, the corner pocket. 22. Seven ball in the corner pocket. That's 23 for him. 23. So at this point, he has the balls spread out just about like he wants them, picking them off at ease and always keeping in mind that he has one for the break shot. Boy, this, uh, this game has a lot of concentration, it doesn't, Roy? Right? Yes, one no, uh, does not comprehend how the how much concentration is involved in a game like this. Right now, the uh, 15 ball will be his next to last shot during this rack. And as I've stated before, probably the 8 ball will be his break shot. He appears to be in good stroke and uh, out of trouble at this time. Bill. 25. That's 25 for Jimmy Karras. 7 ball in the corner pocket. And that's 26. He's made two excellent shots in this particular rack. 14 ball in the corner pocket. 27. 8 ball in the corner pocket. And now he has left one ball on the table. 28. 
And very nicely done indeed. And Jimmy Karras has run 28. We'll be back in just a moment with more action in the National Invitational Pocket Billiards Championships here in Chicago on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Jimmy Karras has now run two complete racks. He hasn't had any shots that have been particularly difficult. He's planned his shots perfectly and stayed out of trouble. Willie Moscone hasn't scored so far, so Karras leads 55 to nothing, and he continues in flawless form. So this could be it. He's run 54. He's got an easy one in the eight ball, but there is the problem. Those two right there, the four and the five, just an inch apart, and they're just a, oh, an inch and a half, two inches off the rail. And uh, in this 14-1 continuous game, he has to leave himself a great shot. And here's the eight ball that he will take probably very easily, giving him 55. Now, on the reverse English there, and ooh, that would be a little dicey as the British said. Uh, very dicey, and uh, I can safely say that uh, this terminated, uh, this will terminate his run, and he will probably resort to the safety play here. Woody Marconi gets up from his chair. He's got no question in his mind that it's all over right here as far as the run is concerned. Now, you mentioned uh, playing the safety. Uh, yes, and playing the safety, you have to grab the balls of the rail or grab the two balls of the rail after contacting the ball. In this case, he hits the five balls and then contacts the ball. Thank you. Yeah. Minus one for Mr. Marconi. All right, now, this is a very unusual situation, believe it or not. 
ball appears to be a very good break shot. He'll pocket his other ball. And uh, in all probability, get in real good shape for the final break shot. After the final break shot, then we will need three balls. 119 to 26, Jimmy Karras in front of Willie Moscone.